Hello viewers, here is an Accurite outdoor weather sensing contraption thing. I'm going to be servicing this unit this afternoon because it's had two failures. Uh, the first and most obvious would be the fact that the wind measuring thing, I forget what it's called at the moment, uh, one of the cups has broken off and I still don't know how that could have possibly happen, but it happened. Um, the other thing that's wrong with this is the fan motor inside of there has bad bearings so it makes an excessive amount of noise so I'm going to go ahead and replace those two components I'm going to begin by removing the batteries uh, from this component here below so open this up we'll, and pull the string and that will release um, the four batteries <clears throat> that are in here I recommend using uh, ultimate lithium batteries in these um, outdoor things because these are generally pretty resistant to uh, the cold temperatures. Next thing we're going to do is remove the four screws. There are screws, there's one in here, one there, one there, and one there. Do not remove these two screws. These are for the rain counting adjustment, only remove the four screws on the outside. Okay, so at this point the bottom part of the unit is now freed. Um, this has the temperature sensor up in there, humidistat, also has the rain counter right here and of course the directional wind vane here at the bottom. Um, these screws don't want to come out on the two sides here. That screw and that screw seem to stay in. Uh, the top and bottom screws have though come out. We're going to set this part aside and we're going to be working with the part which you see here um, up in there. At this point you're going to have to remove four more screws one is located here, there's another one up there, and there's one there and there. Okay, now the wind vane part here is separated from the base. Um, these two screws here I had to use a small screwdriver for because the um, holes they go in are smaller than all the other holes, uh, which is kind of a stupid design, but that's how it is. Um, so at this point, I'm going to take a break from this, and I'm going to show you um, these two units performing in the sun. Well, not in the sun, I'm going to use a light, but I'm going to show you the difference between the two fans. Um, and you'll see what one sounds like with the bad bearings and what the one is supposed to sound like with the good bearings. Now right, here's the first unit, or the old unit rather, and listen to the bearings. Quite noisy. So here's the new unit. Sounds more like a typical Derrick current fan. So. And we're back to this. At this point we are now ready to begin assembling again. This unit, I'm going to set this aside here. Um, don't think we'll really be able to use that in the future, but I may keep it just for parts. Um, goes on the same way it came off. Align the screw holes like this and uh, begin screwing it on. Okay, now all the screws are in. Don't make them particularly tight, just, you know, it's a, they're only plastic threads, so it'll strip if you put it too tight, just put it firm enough that it's not going to uh, move at all. Um, now we can go ahead and put the base unit back on. 
I had a bit of pollen accumulation and such on the top here, so I just wiped it off with this towel. Um, again, just the surface areas. I wouldn't suggest uh, wiping anything off uh, inside of there or anything like that. So now I'm going to put this back on here. And uh, I'm going to put in my, the two side screws first because those are already there. Use the other screwdriver, I think. These screws were uh, not very firm at all when I took this off, so I'm going to put them back at about the same tightness they were, which again was not very tight. It's going to be fun to get this screw down in there. This is a magnetic screw or not. It's not. first part of this unit that's really had a shoddy design to it. Okay, now I'm going to put the batteries back in. This is the channel switch right there. Make sure you don't change the channel uh, unless you want to be changing the channel on your other unit as well. Um, okay, that should be it. I'm going to go ahead and take this upstairs where I have the, uh, the base receiver and see if we get a good connection. All right, here is my indoor receiver. As you can see down here, we have a full signal, which is a good sign. So it's definitely uh, working and making a connection. Now I'm going to uh, spin the wind catcher part and see if we get a reading. Temperature would appear to be working properly as it's uh, the same on both units. and it seems to be working. Uh, of course the refresh rate is kind of slow on this thing but um, it's definitely working. So looks like the repair was successful. I'm gonna have to go outside and uh, mount this sometime uh, but it's not gonna be today because it's uh, 16 degrees out. Went all the way down to uh, negative 2 last night. So uh, yeah it's, it's pretty cold. So anyways, there you have it. Here is my repaired sensor. And uh, I'll make another video of this thing once I get it uh, mounted up and working. Thank you for watching.